headline reads, and before I even get to this, I just want to say, God damn, right? So this is why you should have just brought Medal of Honor back and left this shit alone. That's all I'm saying. Um, headline reads, Battlefield 2042 refund petition passes 25,000 signatures. Now, this is what you call a damn shame, right? This is what you call a shame because a lot of people had a lot of hype for Battlefield 2042. The fans, the gamers who love Battlefield and just first-person shooters in general, everybody had high expectations. It was just excited in general for Battlefield 2042, but it launched in similar fashion to Cyberpunk 2077, right? Where on certain platforms, Cyberpunk just was not functionable. Like, the story, the concept of the game, nothing that was wrong, just the actual functionality of the game was wrong. So I'm guessing the same thing happened here. I personally didn't play it. I just saw like videos on YouTube of people um, letting on that they, dis uh, they discrepancies and stuff like that. Oh, this is wrong with the game. This is wrong with the game. I can't even do this. What is this bug? What is this? Glitch, bug, glitch, bug, glitch, bug, glitch, bug. I'm just like, God damn, I'm glad I ain't played this shit if this is the case. So uh, let's just go ahead and get into it. Battlefield 2042 is in the midst of a rough post-launch period and abundance of game-breaking bugs and a lack of new content have disillusioned the franchise's longtime fans and turned off newcomers. I gotta move to the side because I gotta get a new uh, thing to hold the camera. It's a whole bunch of story, but that don't matter. Despite the game's ongoing issues, the dedicated player base does exist, but the, act but the activity numbers have waned since release. To make matters worse, a Battlefield 2042 refund petition has passed 25,000 signatures. So the fact that 25,000 people in the like 25,000 people out here in the world want their money back, y'all fucked up. Like you, like Dice or whoever did that, y'all gonna have to eat that. So they got like we got a little, a little quote over here. Let's go ahead and read it. Um, oh yeah, and this says 25,000 people are on board with the refund policy as of this writing. Part of the description reads as follows: According to many consumer reports, Electronic Arts and Dice did not keep many promises made at launch and Battlefield 2042 was launched as unplayable. Damn. Even today, Battlefield 2042 has bugs that drastically changed the in-game experience so much that it's deemed an unfinished release by many community members. In fact, Battlefield 2041 was so poorly made that even Steam, a highly reputable provider of PC video games, allows customers to get a full refund. Signing this petition will get you one step closer to getting a refund on Battlefield 2042. Suppose this petition re receives 50k signatures or more. In that case, one of the best class action lawsuits, lawsuit lawyers in the country is willing to take our case against EA. Bruh. Bruh. If you've been a fan of my show, you've been following my show, you've been doing your research, going back into the episodes, finding these episodes I reference and just listening to my thought process and my theory crafts as well, along with these facts that I like to string together and what a tank old web they weave, like a fucking, uh, what was that, PLO style thing that was on the Meth Man album? What a tank old web we weave, PLO, peace to my nigga. Oh man, I gotta listen to that shit again, I gotta listen to this shit again. Um, but no, I digress. This is exactly what I'm talking about, right? This is one of the things I've been talking about and the reasons why I tell y'all, y'all gotta quit asking for shit just for the sake of asking for shit, right? This game is apparently deemed unplayable at launch. That not, it, it is so much that it is deemed an unfinished release by many community members. Unfinished, bro. The words used to describe this is unplayable and unfinished. There's no way in hell these, like y'all are literally letting these gaming companies create half-ass games. Y'all not pressing this issue. Y'all letting these people and these and these developers and these companies create games, sell y'all half of a fucking pizza and tell y'all, we gonna give you the rest of the shit once you eat all of that. No, nigga, but then I'm gonna charge you even though I just charged you for a whole piece and gave you half, I'm gonna still charge you for this other half because, yeah. No, bro. This is why I have a problem with a lot of these games nowadays within the last five years or so. Because y'all selling people half-ass shit. You, you putting out the unfinished game and then you selling the rest of it as DLC. That's some money-hungry shit. 
Like, just, it is what it is, bro. That's some money-hungry shit. Now, if you gonna make the money, make the money. If us, the gamers, if we gonna buy the shit, okay, we gonna buy the shit if it is worth it. But then we gonna have cases like this, right? We gonna have a case of Battlefield 2042 where, okay, you got people that's excited about it, people with high expectations, and then your shit launches as unplayable and is deemed unfinished. And now, to, peep, now, the, the people are halfway there to the 50k signature mark to get their refund back. And people and lawyers is like, hey man, if they reach it, I'll do my job. So all I'm sitting here saying is this. We got to hold these developers and us as fans and, and gamers and, and community, we got to hold each other accountable and actually talk some sense into the next person sitting with us, you know, on the sticks or on the game or whatever. We got to talk sense into people because common sense is just one of the pillars that my show stands on point blank period facts common sense bro two of the pillars that my shit stands on this is a fact that this is a something that is currently happening right now it is also a fact that apparently this is an unfinished and unplayable game which means it's also a fact that y'all hyped this shit up y'all told these folks what y'all wanted y'all let them say this y'all let them do that and then when the game came out it's after the fact now, and no, I want my money back because this is some bullshit. It ain't finished. It ain't this. It ain't that. Okay, why am I saying all this? I know this is supposed to be quick hits, but I got a fucking rant. So at the end of the day, it, it starts before this, right? You got to figure out, We you got to pinpoint in order to try and figure out the time, the point in time where this trend started to happen, where... Okay, we're going to put out this game, but we're only going to sell you half of the game at the full $60 retail price and then sell you the rest of the game as DLC. Like, what? I, I haven't actually done the um, research to figure out when this trend actually started to put into this episode, but the fact that we can sit here and be like, oh, this game, this game, this game, this game, two, three, four, five games and list them way after the fact currently 2022 is proving my point. So when, you know, I'm just saying, bro, like, like it's, that's some old bullshit because now they go, we, we paying more money for incomplete shit and that's not cool. But, you know, it's, you know, it go both ways. Us as fans and gamers, we got to hold these developers and these companies accountable and be like, hey, I don't want to buy your game. And hey, matter of fact, I'm gonna speak for me right now. So Sony, Xbox, any and everybody that's in the business of creating games, making games, hosting games, whatever. I, Dev the Gamer, do not want to buy, play, read, look, taste, smell, none of that. Kick it with you, rollerblade with you, none of that. Halfway. I want a full-fledged game. Don't put no game out if it's not even done. I want the full game, and then whatever you got is DLC. Present it to me. Say this is the season pass, or this is the DLC. This is this. This is that. And I'll be like, okay, I'll buy it. That way, it can be added on to it. Like, yo, yo, Borderlands, like Gearbox, like y'all should look at Gearbox and what they do with Borderlands and run with that. Look what Gearbox do with Borderlands and run with that. They do a great job of putting out the whole game, giving you the whole base game and whatever they give you. And then, hey, we got two, three, four, five DLCs ready to go for you. Here's season pass one. Oh, we got this, this, and two or two or three more pieces of content for you. We'll sell you this season pass two. Here you go. I'm just saying, man, like, what is, like, like how, like, it's not that hard, bro. It's not that hard. Yeah, my bad, y'all. My bad. I had a, a phone call. I had a phone call to take care of. Had to handle some business. Um, but with that being said, man, I pretty much drew, drew my point home. So that's pretty much uh, all that's going to be about this. You know what I'm saying? Just, yo, whoever made Battlefield, y'all fucked up. Y'all fucked up on this one. I, I would have just, I think, uh, yeah, DICE, y'all should have just, yeah, EA DICE, y'all should have just gave us Medal of Honor, bro. Yeah, you should have just rewrite Medal of Honor again. I wouldn't have been mad at that. I really took that.